Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Hunter Hunter, you guys. Oh my goodness. I really feel like we're just ramping up to something huge on this show right now. Not that the stuff that we've had hasn't been like really intense. Like, oh my God, those last two episodes were like so crazy with how intense they were. And I'll get into that briefly. Um, but yeah, um, I have so much I want to say about um, the previous episode. Um, I have so much I want to say about how proud I am of Gone and also of Killua because it was the episode before that that I was, oh, I was just so impressed. I just love my little boy so much. Um, and I will just kind of briefly give you my thoughts on all of that. Um, but first off, I do just want to say, if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I am sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, guys. So last time we had... Oh, man. Um, I knew that the revelation with Kite was going to be bad. But, but to be honest, I think they did a really good job of, like, we, the audience, didn't even know quite what to expect. Like, we know at this, like, I know at this point, Kite is not alive. He is not alive. He is, now we know, is being manipulated, like, quite literally, like, like puppeteered by Nen. Um, and I knew that he was, like, being controlled to some degree, um, and that he was, like, n not alive, basically. Um, but we really didn't, they, they didn't even, like, show us when Knuckle and Shoot, like, capture him and everything. Like, they didn't really show us, you know what I mean? So, like, we're learning along with Gone, like, just what the heck is going on, how bad it is. Um, and the slow reveal of, like, a, a genius to have Gone not have his net at that point because he has to put it together on basically just his own instincts and not you know, actually seeing the Nen strings. Um, but man, it was, it was like, I did, it was, I knew we had to rip the bandaid at some point, but it was, it was bad. It was devastating. It was so sad. And it was so sad to watch Gon put together, like what was going on. And I don't know what's going to happen with Kite. You guys have told me like, it's, that's my surprise you. So I'm like, I don't know if he's coming back to life. I don't know if we're gonna like can you like Nen transport in time and go save Kite because I for sure like do not know how we would get him back at this point um there's the uh you know we had a card that could save somebody who was like dying but that's like the only thing I can think of that's like a uh, come in and and reverse bad effects and even that wasn't like bring somebody back from the dead you know um, we did have, like, the Nen healer, the Nen exorcist at one point, but, like, I don't see what that, all that's going to do is remove the strings, and then he's still dead, right? Like, all I know is you guys told me, if your head gets cut off, you are dead. Basically. So I'm like, all I have to go on is, like, he's definitely had his head cut off, and he's definitely dead. So... I'm thinking at this point that at the very least we are trying to free our friend and put him to rest with some dignity. Um, I honestly don't know like what the twist in that could be, but good God, am I on board for it. If there is a twist where we can bring Kite back, oh, I'm so on board for that. Um, but I really honestly don't know at this point. But anyway, um, you know, we ended off the episode with Gone just with just this incredible display play of strength to the point where like he like is outside himself for a second and just goes in the zone and is like ready to kill and I love this killer who comes in and is like puts a hand on his shoulder like hey it's okay you don't don't kill anyone right now <laughs> we just wanted a, a brief display but like going was for real like they tried they told him to show everything he had and he did but, like, I felt like he kind of, like, went away for a second and was, like, just, a, he just, all I could see was Nefropito. And I'm, like, oh, man, Nefropito, you are, you are getting what's coming for you, for sure. Um, 
and I'm I'm just I'm just so here for that. Um, so where we left it was Natero um, has let us know that you know these are the teams. This is what you're doing. This is who you're after. This is what's going to happen. We're having this big, this big to do, and uh, and which is pr pretty much basically just an excuse I think to get a bunch of people in one place and eat them. Um, the king to do that. Um, so we kind of like we have our mission. We have it all set. We know who's doing what. Let's do this, guys. Let's put an end to this. Let's put an end to this. Let's put Kite to rest on with an asterisk, unless there's some way to bring him back. Um, what if, I mean, there's a, there's just no way you could be, I'm like, what if he was just really near death? He has, how do you survive? I just don't know. I just don't know. But you guys, there's one way to find out, and that is to go ahead and jump right into the next episode of Hunter Hunter. Let's do this. Yeah, extremely violent, intelligent. Oh, we oh we interviewed one. I'm kind of surprised that he would just like sit down for an interview. Oh no! So in other words, we. Oh God, he's like, yeah, I'll prove it. All right. God, yeah, please don't show it. You already showed way too much. Oh, hey! Oh! Yeah. Are we where we, where I think we are? As I was gonna say, are we are as they're going back home. Oh, wow. So, the Phantom Troop is going to defend their home against the ants. Wow. They... Like, turn them. So... Because if there's a way to turn them back, then what is that? Maybe that's, maybe that's the thing that we're thinking of with Kite. Okay. So, what we're doing is we're turning people instead of... Okay. Oh, God. What we're doing is we're turning people instead of killing them and eating them and then laying eggs. Ew, we're... T oh, we're like, oh, no. Okay. Ick. Oh, we're like me. We are we are mutating them, and that's why they're confused on like how to classify. She is the queen of her own, of her own territory here. That she is. Just, oh, I said we. You know. Okay. It's also it's a it's a rebirth stinger, but we're also <laughs> we're also making it sexy for some reason. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Interim boss is okay. Yeah. They're, de I mean, they're definitely super powered up in their own way, but like, I don't know. I've never even considered how would they fare against. Because, you know, we've got to go. Look at how cute the manicure is, though. Can we just <laughs> look at the hearts? I mean, you can't question her taste in a good manicure. That's all I'm saying. Oh. The, the, the very. The, the very happy spider. Okay. Oh, just uh, with a little spring in our steps. <laughs> but I have a feeling they're going to hold their own for sure, especially against like some of the the lower, so like more soldier ones. Not soldier, but. Not moles. The word you're looking for is holes.
Whoa, what? It's like a... He's like a boxer with a hole. Descended from a small tribe. I don't think we've ever learned about this individual. Please don't tell me they put a hole in their stomach. Yes, they do. Oh, they put holes in... Oh, God. Okay. Wow. Well, it looks like we were pretty efficient there, so that's why. Okay. All right. How did you end up where you're at, friend? Oh. This is actually kind of cool to be able to see a few of uh, the Phantom Troop folks in action here. Like a little bit more individual action than what we saw. Ooh. Ah, oh, but oh, we're gonna we're definitely we're most definitely gonna hold our own here. Okay. Ow, yeah, we took some damage, but oh, be careful! Oh. Oh. Touche. Oh, what are we going to do? What are... Oh, no. What are we doing? Oh, we're starting to sweat it out a little bit. Winding it up. Okay. He, you know, he doesn't look nervous. He always has kind of a cheery. Ah, it's cheery. Hmm. That's that we really care for and respect our boss, to be fair. Good thinking. This. <gasps> Whoa, wait. Auto. Because <sighs> he could control himself with the remote. Because, of course, he can control himself with the remote. Oh, boy. Oh, we're getting to really see all the individuals in action here. Whoa, he's okay. How am I supposed to resist the Super Saiyan joke here? Oh! Whoa! <gasps> that was per. I uh, see, he really is like so. <laughs> he's like in a whole different zone. And now he's back. Now he's back to. He's like, owie. Oh! It's, it's a last resort for sure. As with many things with none. Uh, this is what I was curious about, because we actually have seen this individu individual in action. Mm. Okay. Do we all have a... Th we all have a thing on us. Is this the power? And we're going to get to see... I can't remember Killua's brother's name, but... We are going to get to see them in action. 
Confetti. Oh, that's the, okay. That's that's the confetti was to track all the. Okay. Uh oh, you got a lot of confetti on you there. Really? Did you really think that was the extent of it? It's a it's a paper based it's a paper based uh, attack system. When are people going to stop underestimating kids around here? Yeah, so it's meandering dance. Explain. I would love for an explanation, full explanation. Oh, oh, we can explode limbs off with it. Once we get, okay. That is very dangerous. And it's also good for like a long um, range. It's a, whoa. Whoa. Oh. This is the effect of the dance, the song. Really? It's a very interesting concept that one could play music on their actual body, you know? Are we going to be able to get away from this? Nah. Whoa! <laughs> it's... Oh! Wow! Crushed by Jupiter. Ooh, and uh, I think, feel like the last sound-related person we saw was Melody. Wow, um, I'm happy we got to see Phantom Troop again. So in what, <laughs> in what universe, although I say that, but like they got me to root for Hisoka during um, the last arc. So um, it's really not so crazy to think that, um, you know, we would bring the, the Phantom Troop in. And I mean, the thing about the Phantom Troop is that there's a lot to like about them, even though they are like not good guys per se. So it, we were we were a few steps away from really just kind of putting them in a situation where we could root for them. And this was it. I also think it's really, really cool to be able to see some of their individual abilities. We really, the ones that we saw, and I'm so you guys know I'm going to, just blank on the names. Um, but I feel like the the one with, I remember Blinky. I remember the vacuum's name was Blinky. I'm so sorry I'm blanking on the, the Blinky's partner. But like we saw Blinky and, um, you know, we saw the boss. We saw a few individuals and how their abilities worked. But we didn't see everyone in the troop like really get to show off their abilities like showcased in an individual setting like we did just now and I think it's really cool like remember I, I feel like I remember pointing out like the mummy one and um but we didn't really to my recollection if we did and I'm just blanking on it I'm sorry or if we did and it was just kind of like a shorter scene or something that I'm not remembering then apologies but um you know, we haven't really gotten to see them like this before. And like, I didn't even know about the, um, I keep saying the mummy. It's <laughs> really not even close to a mummy except for the bandages because the actual ability is so different than I thought it would be. Like, I would have never guessed. I, I really honestly would have guessed something that had to do with a mummy. I would have never guessed that the bandages were covering like actual like sound producing holes in the body by which we can make sounds and we have a Nen sound ability, but totally different from like what we saw from Melody. Um, and it is kind of like a sound music dance kind of. So it's in that vein, but it's it's just wildly creative how far we can go. Uh, Shellnark, all I saw was the remote, the phone thing. I never really got to see him do what he just did. That was pretty impressive. Um, same with the pot. Well, well, we might have. Did we see the thing with the winding and the punches? Maybe. I don't know. It's been a little while. So there may be some things that are I'm just a little fuzzy on. And I apologize for that. Um, 
but man, getting to see uh, just like showcased abilities from the Phantom Troop and also just kind of seeing like, I wouldn't say, you know, the whole thing with Kurapika, I mean, they were defending against, they were, but it was different. It was, it was not an invasion of their home, you know, it was, um, it was definitely, you know, uh, avenging the loss of one of their own. So it was still kind of defending against someone, but we've never seen a Phantom Troop in this kind of like defensive position, I feel like. Like not quite this position. Um, and I just am loving like getting to see like, God, even the Phantom Troop is being affected by this. Um, and now we know that Kill was, br I know that Kill was brother has a name. I do not recall the name. I'll probably learn the name over the course of this mini arc that we have thrown into the ant arc, which I'm loving. Um, but, oh, so I think one of the things I was, I was, before I veered off, um, I was going to say we're off fighting the ants. Phantom Troop with Killua's brother now as one of the members is fighting one of the ants, is fight, are fighting the ants, some of the ants. Um, I wonder if we'll have any kind of convergence at some point. Probably not because we're in two different places, but, um, but it is kind of interesting, isn't it? They, this, uh, I'll tell you what, the Zoldix just managed to like pop up. <laughs> no matter what we're doing, it's like, I mean, I guess you can't say they're not hardworking, you know? But man, after, oh, after the whole pin incident a few episodes ago, like, I don't even want to think about the family for, like, a while. Um, but anyway, um, what, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we got to see Killua's brother's ability, which I don't think we've seen before. I don't think we've seen that before. Um, but man, that is a... That is a, I like how we can use it for like tracking, for like um, observation, kind of like surveillance almost. We can use it for an attack. That is really, really cool. I gotta say the paper, the paper based um, attack was really interesting to see. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, if, if you thought the Phantom Troop was the exception to the rule in terms of like people trying to defend against the invasion of the ants? Guess again. And I'm here for it. I'm I'm here for it. I want to see I want to see where this is going. Cannot believe that they left me where they did. It did not feel like 20 minutes. But then here we are. So, um all right, guys. Really, really, really great episode. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I, you know, one of the cool things about the show is like just when you think you're done with um, an occurrence, a topic, a concept, they'll kind of come in and be like, oh, yeah, a dentum. Like they did with, uh, with Killua. And the whole like, like well, I knew, and I'm not, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but I am patting myself on the back because I knew way back <laughs> during the Hunter exam arc, I'm like, there are steps. What is going on? Like, it was Alumi controlling Killua, or or was he just like really convinced? You know, like what was the where was the line? And you know how many, however many episodes goes by, like almost like we're almost a hundred now. And they finally come back in and are like, oh, yeah, by the way, there was a bobby pin stuck in his head. Just in case you were still wondering about that, which I was. Um, all right, guys. That was awesome. Can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.